Hello great people, welcome back to our channel. There is a, a serious concern right now in the Southeast and widely been discussed mostly by Southeasterners and supporters or lovers of Southeasterners and it has to do with the issue of EFCC hunting after um, Ndibos. Some call it ethnic profiling and some seems not to really have a name for it. And, uh, you know, fairly recently, if you have been following train of events in the country, you will notice that uh, most of the key names that uh, finds themselves in the net of EFCC is actually, they're actually from the Southeast. We've had the case of um, the former governor of Anambra State talking about uh, Obiano, how immediately he finished from office, he was arrested. And uh, we've heard of the case of uh, Kubana priests and also Kubana, um, Kubana himself. These guys have been invited and for questionings and all of that. Now, Nigerians are wondering, why is it that the target is actually these guys? They've not been given presidency and from all indication, there seems not to be any hope because it has not been narrowed down to southeast other other that's the major parties are making it open apart from that i hope they've been crying for that because of marginalization uh, they want to see and all of that they've not been given to them and all of that we're still trying to see how that can be handled and uh, even when all of that is not given to them you know they are chasing after their people so they call it ethnic profiling a particular um, civil rights advocacy group has decided to speak about it pointing to other youths in different areas or different parts of the country why is this equation not balanced why is it just a particular people yet others seems to be enjoying it now, we are going to look at it and also consider personal views of nigerians in respect to it now let's look at what the advocacy group have to say about this and according to the new civil rights advocacy group human rights right association of nigeria or yesterday expressed profound trepidation and worry that a lot of critical minded people in the southern nigeria have accused the economic and financial crime commission efcc of ethnic profiling against Igbo's notable sons in the past few months it therefore urged the hierarchy of the EFCC to adopt transparent and accountable methodology of oppression, irrespective of whether it is northern or southern Nigeria, so that they are not permanently perceived as a group of people who have deviated from the time-honored and time-tested mandate of anti-corruption crusade devoid of ethnic or religious profiling. Oriwa, in a statement by its national coordinator, Emmanuel Omobiko, said the field officers of the anti craft agency under the leadership of Abdul Rashid Bawa must be probed for allegedly picking up innocent Nigerians in gestapo style, sometimes in the middle of the night after invading their residence and hotels. The idea that whenever Ibu youths may be due to exuberance as shown on videos to appear to be spreading among us amounts of cash at social or religious functions such as funeral rites or wedding the next day the principal character seems seen in the video who are he was are profiled and arrested at the airport or just somewhere and the next day the newspapers are washed with propaganda demonizing the arrested citizen of the southeast origin but the same EFCC officers are never seen arresting or profiling northern youth similarly captured during high-profile social and religious functions like the wedding of sons of prominent northern politicians who obviously are treated like sacred cows. The group described as which haunt the arrest and humiliation of popular socialite Pascal Okechukunun known better as Kubana chief priest, is associated Obina Eyebu, known as Obi, Obi Kubana, the former number of state governor, Willie Obiano, among other prominent sons of the Igbos, lock up on unproven allegation of tax fraud and money laundering, whereas suspects of northern origin even needed to charge to court for alleged his of billions of public funds are suddenly 
left of the hook and progressively railed, roaded into influential national political offices only because of their ethnic affiliation with those welding political powers in Abuja. Therefore, urged the EFCC under power to treat softly and carefully and quit launching attack on prosperous Ibu sons. He also urged their agency to operate within the confines of the law. Hmm. They discriminate, they did indiscriminate arrest of Ibu notable sons by overzealous and discretionless EFCC operative is worrisome. The show of shame and commando-like raids being branded as legitimate operation that is, a pastime of EFCC agent was aptly captured in a newspaper. The earlier the EFCC comply with rules of engagement and disease from any profiling of the Igbos, the better. Also, the anti-craft agency should investigate its field officers who are alleged to be extorting school children by arresting, detaining, and forcing them to part with a lot of money. Inasmuch as we condemn advanced fee fraud, we condemn any activity by, of the EFCC that is inimical to constitutional democracy and norms and principles of rule of law and due process. Hmm. Quite interesting. Now, the, the, the big question: This has this is not just the concern of Horiwa, but is also the concern of many people, especially when uh, Pascal was being arrested. I think he was arrested on his bed day and taken in for question. He has not really spent time to open up on the reason, but EFCC told Nigerians that the reason behind his arrest was actually money laundering and uh, fraud evasion on tax fraud, as they clearly spelled out to the media people. But then Nigerians are still asking a lot of questions. Let, let's look at what people have to say about this. Someone says the EFCC is, the, is only against Ibos and refuse to probe the honor of two billion van because he is Yoruba man and a member of EFCC. Now that calls for so much questioning. Why is it that up till now nothing has been done about Bola Ahmed Tinibu's? Uh, million van even when you know the thing came up what we hear was that um if anybody will petition the efcc in respect to that then the case will be looked into and up till today nothing vivid has come out i did uh, uh one of these uh, activists had uh, cried out about it but you are yet to see anything happen now another person here says Igbo should know that they don't belong to Nigeria and should join the fight for Biafra because enough of all these talking and still nothing changes. Another person here says this is the best right of I have witnessed the activities or the activities of EFCC in NDLE are designed for the Easterners and not for Nigerians as a whole. Well, I, I'll have to talk about this issue of NDLEA, we have seen countless of Northerners who have been arrested by NDLEA. So for Mawa, uh, I, I say thumbs up to him because he had been doing so much in that respect. I, I don't think there's anything that ignore profiling in NDLEA across board, whether you are a Yoruba man, whether you are a Hausa man. They deal with everybody. Okay, just fairly recently we heard about the Super Cup. Who actually brought him to Lamlight? It was actually NDLEA. That's why his uh, MV, uh, uh, envious position as a super cop, respected by even the lawmakers and honored by you know the Senate. That did not stop him being you know um, showcased to Nigeria as one of those who is involved in drug trafficking. And I want to hear says I believe that they are doing what they are created to do by the full and government of nigeria that's why the the head of everything and that is how it is done when a government or group of people who are on ethnic cleansing that's why evil youths can't move freely mostly in the southeast hmm. so many things to talk about here and it's really heartbreaking and there's not a move to keep nigeria as one uh, we are hopeful that with these uh, cry out by Horiwa, EFCC will start throwing their tentacles around the entirety of the country and also publicize other ethnic groups who are arrested on the case of tax fraud, money laundering, and the likes. So we'd like to leave it there. Go to our comment section.